Hey everybody, this is Stratagem, and today we're gonna watch My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 8 Episode 7 Horseplay. So it's another horse pun title that doesn't really tell us what the episode is going to be about. But since this is the part of the video where I always make an uneducated guess, I'm gonna say that play in this instance actually means a stage play or something like that, and that it will take place in Canterlot, and that it will star Rarity. So that's three guesses from me as to where, who and what, just like in Clue. I wonder how wrong I will be. Probably very. Anyway, let's stop horsing around and get right to it. And we are in Cantaloupe. Twilight and Celestia, okay. The 1111th year anniversary of when you first raised the sun. Good thing Pinkie Pie reminded us. Really? 1100 years? You're not the only ones. What did you have in mind? To commemorate your first sunrise, I've written a play. It is a play. And we are... Okay, we are not in Cantalot. Oh, wow. Uh, Celestia seems excited. Celestia, please calm down. Yeah, I'm just as confused. Okay. Every pony coming together to create a magical experience to share with others. I've always believed theater brings out the best in us and forges a special bond of friendship. So we're getting a <gasps> Celestia episode? No, you used to act. Oh, not me. I was always too busy with my magic lessons to be part of any plays myself. Gee, reminds but me of someone. Still, it's something I always wished I could experience. And you still can. Princess uh, Celestia, we would be honored if you would be the star of our play. <laughs> Wait, what? That what? Well, okay. I guess she can play herself. That would be uh, helpful, I guess. And yay, it's gonna be in a school. That's that's cool. I was wondering when we got to see that place again. So, Celestia episode. It's been a while. <laughs> well, we had we had basically two Celestia episodes last season, but uh, still. Wouldn't have expected that we get another one. So let's see. You want me to star in your play? Yeah. When did that happen exactly? <laughs> Five well, seconds ago. Second. Well, more like thirty seconds. Don't you see, Spike? It's perfect. Princess Celestia has always wanted to be in a play. Okay, um, okay. that's a new writer. I guess. But how are we supposed to give her directions? She's the ruler of equestrian. Yeah, you can't she's also our friend. So yeah, she's also God. So if we have a chance to finally do something for her, we should. Yeah, I... Come on, how many times has Celestia helped us, guided us, been a warm, calm voice over <laughs> our shoulder? Twilight. <laughs> yeah, the voice over your shoulder, indeed. Your invitation is very kind, but are you certain it's wise? Yeah. I have no acting experience at all. Experience? <laughs> You'll be playing yourself. And we'll all help you. Uh... Please. <laughs> it means so much to the students if you are in our show. Well, this could be interesting. Sure. Might as well probably. Wow, that face. Yeah, what you That's do? probably going to end in a then complete disaster. Let's have a theater play. By the way, your newest co actor you is God. <laughs> no stress. At least she's keeping track. I believe you've memorized your lines already, Fluttershy. Once you get past terrifying, paralyzing stage fright, <laughs> the rest is easy. Now I just hope Princess Celestia says we can do our play. Just don't get too it's into it, Fluttershy. Fabulous costumes. All she'll be able to say is bravo. Well, those costumes don't look too good, actually. Wonderful news, every pony. We get to put on our show. Even better. Princess Celestia is gonna be our star. They will not be thrilled. See? Yeah, that's who I <laughs> Celestia? Starring in our play? This is huge! Well, she was a little nervous at first. But Did I the cannon get afterwards. bigger? With us helping, it'll all go smooth and... Silk! I must find the silk! If Celestia is going to be in our play, we have to take everything up to the next level! None of these old ideas will Yeah. Yeah! Forget my 
Okay, now they're all going. What the hell? Did you steal that from from party uh, cheese sandwich? Not party favor. Yeah. Yeah. Those were formal things. Galas, world saving. <laughs> formal things, world saving. Imagine doing sweaty warm ups with a princess, blowing your nose in front of a princess, sitting around just talking with a princess. You do that all the freaking time. Yeah. You talk to me. That one. That's different. You're not a princess. princess. Oh. Uh, thanks. <laughs> So yeah, you don't have the wavy hair. The and you're too small. To give her that, you just need to be yourselves. You... you really think so? <laughs> ah, quit, Brit. It's only a couple of pals getting together to put on a one's first Yeah. Life. What could go wrong? Everything. Absolutely everything. everything. But yeah. Lecture written and produced by... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this goes. You're not wearing a costume. Before Celestia, Equestria was suffering terrible hardship. Raising the sun every morning was so hard <laughs> it took five great sorcerers plus stars world the beard to do it. Oh wow. <laughs> and every day, the unicorns helping stars world would use so much magic they lost their powers. Forever. Forever? What? Things looked bleak. Soon, Equestria would lose all its magic users. Then the land would be covered in darkness for eternity. Wow. They actually used up their magic? I can't believe how good my play is. That's interesting. The props, the outfits, they're all great. And here comes the best part. But then, a student named Celestia discovered she had the power to raise the sun herself. Without draining her magic. <laughs> that grin. Um, that's your cue, Celestia. Oh, right. Of course. <laughs> it is time for a new day. Do the Cantalot voice. Dude, speak up. Um, what? Oh, I said it is time for a new day in Equestria. Oh, wow. Wow. And your delivery was great. But maybe you should try it a tiny bit louder for the ponies in the back row. Oh, you are. Yes, my royal canterlot voice. Thank you for the reminder, Twilight. Indeed, do the cant. It is time yes. for a new day in Equestria. Good. Oh, goodness. This theater does have strong acoustics. My apologies. I'm still learning to hone my craft. No, no, you're doing fine. Yeah. Why don't we try it one we have two volumes. Like you're talking to me. It is Luna Eclipse Luna and Fluttershy. Very, very good delivery. A bit more energy. It's time for a new day in Equestria. Wow, you are oh, awful. Uh, honestly, <laughs> this is great. Wow, it's hard to believe you've never done this before. Let's move on to the dance number. Let's see how she falls over her hooves. Oh. <laughs> Why is the trapdoor there? Oh dear. I think we have a problem. Yeah, our lead actress is a disaster. Exactly. <laughs> and now they have the problem that they can't tell her. What are we gonna do? If I tell Celestia she's terrible, it'll hurt her feelings, and I'll be a bad friend. But if I keep her in the show, she'll be the laughing stock of Equestria, and I'll be a worse friend. Yeah. You need to tell Celestia the truth, yes. Twilight. Any other suggestions? No. Listen to AJ. The show? Real suggestions? No, think about it. Right now, most of Equestria doesn't even know we're doing a one Yes, play. they know now. If we shut it down, no pony In a few seconds. So they'll never Once Rainbow Dash returns. Celestia's a bad actress. Then she won't be embarrassed. It's not. Oh, right. I just yep. Telling everybody to come to our 
<laughs> you did? Yes. Yeah. You she said so. Excited they got when they found out Celestia was in it. They said they'd tell their friends, and then their friends would tell their friends. Every pony in Equestria is gonna see this thing. Every pony. Uh, did I miss something? Just a bright light of hope being snuffed. <laughs> but that's okay. If we can't cancel the show, I know what I have to do. Be honest with Celestia yes. and give the lead role to some pony. Yes. Else? Not a chance. Twilight, you know truth is a huge part of friendship. And so is making another pony's dreams come true. Look, I promise Thank you for acting lessons she could be a part of the play. For the next 300 pony. years. And I plan to keep that promise. But how? You want to give me acting lessons? No, 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 yes, 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 yes. Or like a special workshop with other actors. To take your performance from good to flawless. <laughs> Thank you so much. Or rather, from awful life. to acceptable. This is what I always knew theater must be about that special stage pony bond of shared trust and honesty. Yeah, especially honesty yeah. here. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> oh, hey, it's the uh, method mares. Method mare performers on stage and raspberry beret. Wow. Pleasure, your Majesty. The pleasure is all mine. I hadn't expected that we would see I them again. Become a better equestrian thespian, I will. What do you have planned? Well, I thought we'd make it up as we go along. Uh, otherwise known as improvisation. Yes, and we can start as soon as we get out of this box. Okay. She doesn't get it. What box? <laughs> Oh, right, that they destroyed the sun. Yeah. Why are there stalactites the at the roof? Please give me something to be happy about. There is no reason for happiness. Sitting pose. It is? <laughs> I don't see anything. Let's be weeping willows in the wind. We are strong in adversity, yet supple as we bow to fate. Well, what do you feel? Mm. <laughs> oh, the classroom floor under my hooves. Does that count? Do I want to know? No, you probably don't. Wait for it. That is even worse. <laughs> it's realistic. The sun is just like a burning marshmallow. Kinda. <laughs> what are they doing now? The simplest acting exercise they could think of. A game of charades. A puppy. A duck-billed platypus. What is she? What? Oh, I give up. My love for Equestria and all the ponies in it. Twilight, you felt what I was emoting, didn't you? Mm, yes. Yeah. Oh God, that face. Well, that's the best acting I've seen all day. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, Fleur de Lis and uh, Fancy Pants. I tried and tried and tried, but we have to face facts. We can't make Celestia an actress, so there's only one thing to do. Travel back in time. Tell her the truth, finally. No. That would make sense, AJ. We don't make sense here. I've rewritten the script to give Celestia a more artistic part with no lines. And to make sure the show's a hit, I've whipped up the big, thick, flashiest fake sun. What is it? Oh! That's a fire hazard. That looks unsafe. Why would untested magic fireworks that I bought in a background <laughs> from Trixie and Pitman be unsafe? Gee, I don't know. What? Well, now you have an excuse not to perform? <laughs> the Trixie face. 
She's right behind you. God damn it, Twilight. Twilight, if you honestly felt I was a bad actress, why didn't you tell me? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to insult your acting. It's just uh, I got so stressed. But that's no excuse for what I said. You have every right to be upset with me. I'm not upset because you insulted my acting. You're not? I'm upset because in all the time we've known each other, I thought I taught you about the importance of friendship, trust, and honesty. Yeah, you really oh, yeah. fucked up Wait. here. No! You can't fly away now! Fuck! Ponies are taking their seats for the show. <laughs> Standing room only! Can I do a good job of advertising for this thing or what? Well... Sorry, <laughs> we can't put on a show with no lead actress. Well, you go find Celestia. We'll figure out a way to stall this thing till you get back. Good luck. No police on the volunteer to damn try it. to change that. God damn it, no. Twilight. Pony, indeed. <laughs> yeah, you get out there. So, <laughs> who likes juggling? <laughs> Wait, can we talk? I'm afraid I haven't much to say, Twilight. Wow, <laughs> Celestia's really pissed. Listen, you've guided me since I was a filly. You've given me knowledge and advice and friendship. Just once, I wanted to be able to give something back to you. I know what I did was wrong. I should have told you the truth, but I promised you could be in our play. I had to make it work. Nothing would make me feel worse than knowing I disappointed you. Yeah, you that really is what you did. That. Of course! I look up to you more than any pony I've ever met. I hate to let you down. Like I did. Oh, you had good intentions, Twilight. But mm. you know that the truth is always better than a well-meant lie. Didn't Applejack remind you? Several times. Oh, about a hundred times. And now... I didn't listen to her. I've ruined your whole one's versary. Well, I don't know about that. Isn't there an old saying? The show must go on. There may be a way for us to save the play yet. There is? But how? I mean, if I'm being completely honest, you're not an actress. Yeah. No, but I am a princess. <laughs> Good news. Well, now Celestia can go onto the stage. They already expect the worst. A thing or two about how to deal with those. You came back. Yes, but let's celebrate later. Right now, we have a show to do. But 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 how? The audience is about to riot. We have no backdrop, and our lead actress is awful. No longer in that role. Rarity, Applejack, Pinkie Pie, Twilight, go calm the audience. Let them know the play will start in just a minute. And what are you going Rainbow to do? Dash, bring us some clouds and place them behind the stage. There, that's our new backdrop. Uh, okay. Twilight, do you have a copy of the script? Spike, you narrate the play. Fluttershy will be our new... What? Oh my... Me playing you? Will you watch me playing you? Oh no. That's oh no. probably not the best idea. <laughs> <laughs> Visualize with me. You're a princess. Regal. Commanding. Confident. Feel the rising sun's warmth. Equestria needs you. You also need a horn, Fluttershy. Once upon a time, before Celestia, Equestria was suffering a terrible hardship. Raising the sun every morning was so hard that it took five unicorns. <laughs> the horns are broken. Plus, stars filled a bearded to do it. <laughs> you call those great sorcerers? <laughs> no, hecklers. What should we do? Kill them. Spike, improvise. <laughs> yes, and uh, read 
using the sun each day was super draining. But you can see that for yourselves, right? I mean, do these guys look beat up or what? <laughs> Star Squirrel's so stressed, he's got kinks in his horn! <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay, because it turns out Celestia had the special power to raise the sun all by herself. Why isn't the horn yellow? Or why isn't she painted white? Damn it. Where's the sun? In all the commotion, we forgot we don't have a sun. What do we do? Well, play charades. Just raise the real sun, Celestia. Yep. Problem solved. <laughs> yeah. Special effects indeed. Judging by how many flowers the audience threw, it seems our play was a success. I just feel bad you never got a chance to actually be in it. You shouldn't. I never felt I had to be on stage to be a part of the show. All I ever wanted was to share an honest bond of creativity, artistry, and happiness with my friends. And that's exactly what I got to do. Thank you for saving our play, Princess Celestia. You're welcome, Twilight. But from now on, none of you will have to call me Princess anymore. Huh? Wait, what? You don't? Uh, what? No. I had so much fun tonight, I've decided to give up my crown, step down from the throne, and devote all of my time to the- Please, no. She's kidding. What? Gotcha. <laughs> Maybe I'm not such a bad actress after all. No, you're just a troll. <laughs> All right. So, that was that. And yeah, that was, well, interesting to say the least. <laughs> First of all, I had not expected Celestia to be that bad an actress. <laughs> like, holy crap. That was awful. And of course, Twilight doesn't want to hurt her feelings and doesn't listen, listen to Applejack. Which is something you should always do. Unless Applejack gives you a list, then you shouldn't listen to her because her lists are complete nonsense. But yeah, that was that was really interesting. So we got a little bit of backstory here. Apparently the unicorns who raised the sun before Celestia got completely drained by the task. That's something we didn't know before. And apparently Celestia has a fondness for theater, despite having no talent for it. So that's something about her. That's pretty cool. And hey, we got to see the students once more. Again, not in speaking roles, but at least they were there for a little bit. Though I really hope that we get to see a proper episode with them soon. Honestly, right now I have no idea what to say, so I'm just gonna rewatch the episode real quick, and I hope I will have my thoughts gathered by then, so uh, be right back. Okay, so after rewatching it, I have a few more things to say. First off, we actually learn a bit about the timeline here. So apparently it was 1111 years ago that Celestia first raised the sun. That's a lot more precise than the usual a thousand years ago, when everything else in this show has happened. And we also get a bit more characterization for Celestia. When she told about her past as a filly, that she always wanted to play in the theater, but was too busy with her studies. So I guess she was a little bit like Twilight or a moon dancer back when she was a filly and a unicorn. And also that reaction when she heard about the play, she was giddy as all hell. <laughs> we have never seen her that excited before. And we got to hear Celestia's Cantalot voice. That's that's nice. Though it's pretty weird that on stage she's either doing the Cantalot voice or being even quieter than Fluttershy. That seems a bit exaggerated. But yeah, all in all, it was a pretty cool episode, I think. The only thing that really bothered me here was Twilight. Sure, she had good intentions with what she did, but really, she should have known better. Applejack told her several times to just be honest with Celestia, and even Celestia herself pointed out the importance of honesty right before meeting the Method Mares, which, by the way, were a nice callback. Though really, Twilight should have known better. But then again, we wouldn't have had angry Celestia in this episode, which also was an interesting point to see. This was the first time in a show we ever got to see Celestia being really angry. So that's kind of more characterization for her again. She wasn't angry at Twilight because she called her a bad actress. She was angry because Twilight lied to her, showing that she holds honesty, and probably the rest of the elements as well, in a very high regard. And I guess this piece of characterization for Celestia is kinda worth it in the end. So overall, pretty good episode, though probably one that I'll have to rewatch a few times before I can properly judge it. Anyway, that's it from me. So as always, I have been Stratagem, thanks for watching, and see ya next time.